gonna show you how to meal prep tacos! You know the BCI eating all your favorite foods, we try to be healthy. Which is why you should subscribe to our channel because we remake all of your favorite foods into meal prep. Today we're making tacos the original way and a plant based option. So, so let's, let's get started! started. Alright guys, when it comes to tacos, this should be really, really simple and really, really fast. You haven't got to overcomplicate it. So start with the beef, we're going to add in two tablespoons of coconut oil, turn the heat on to high. When you're using beef, you want to make sure you get a good quality beef. Here we have a grass-fed organic beef. So now that our oil's hot, we're going to go in with our beef and try and break that all up. Once it's broken up, we're going to get in with our spices, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of cracked black pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. Continue mixing it all together. All the fat in there is gonna help retain the flavor and stop the meat from drying out. All those flavors gonna to come together in the pan. Beautiful. Continue browning the meat and breaking up all the big chunks. Once you can see that all the meat is browned, you can turn off the heat. So now I'm gonna show you guys the plant-based version, which is also the much cheaper version. We bought this beef, it cost us $7 to buy the beef, but when you buy black beans, it has the same amount of protein, the same amount of weight, and it only is gonna cost you $2. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by draining our black beans. Place them into a bowl. Now we're gonna use flax seeds to bind the black beans together. So we're gonna get a quarter of a cup, place it into our food processor or a blender, anything that you got. And we're going to turn this into flaxseed meal. Now you can see we've turned the flax seeds into flaxseed meal. There's also a cheaper way to make flaxseed meal. You can, instead of buying it already made, you can just do it yourself. So ideally for this, you can use a potato masher. I haven't got a potato masher. You can also use a fork, but I'm just going to use my hands. Get in there and squish more. Grab it in between your hands. Give it a squish. Ooh, Make sure you wash your hands first, of course. That looks pleasant. Yeah. Now we're going to go in with our flaxseed. Flaxseed meal, here we go. Cross that in. Teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of oregano, and salt and pepper. What are you doing? <laughs> I got it all over my head. Oh, wow. There you go. So talented. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what it. I was thinking. Four years, so chef, talented. four years of chef school for this. Mash it all together. Look, it even looks like ground beef. Look at it. This beef will work for any kind of meat replacement. You can put it on your nachos. Try to get it off your hand. Just like this. Boop. Make a plant-based version. Exact same as the beef. We're gonna start with two tablespoons of coconut oil. Turn the heat on high. Once coconut oil is melted, go in with your bean mixture. Mush it down and spread it around the pan. Try and break it all up. Wow, that really looks like beef. Is that beef to me? Even plant-based people don't have to miss out eating their favorite foods either. Yeah. What you want to do is once you've smoothed it all out, you want to leave it without moving it, and it's going to create a nice golden brown uh, crispiness on the bottom. And then after about a minute or so, then give it a turn once it's got kind of crispy on the bottom. If you keep moving it, it's never going to get that crispiness, golden brownie kind of texture. Once you can see it's all golden brown, you can turn the heat off. And there you go, plant-based beef. Nice. Doesn't look much different. If you want more simple and delicious recipes like this one that take hardly any time to make, then make sure you click the link in the description box below to grab our 12-week meal plan cookbook. Ooh, yeah. Now I'm gonna show you how to play out the beef. Simply put it in the container. When it comes to toppings for your tacos, do that whatever you like. But today we're going to add lettuce, tomato, onion, avocado, lime, and some cilantro. Or coriander for the Australians. And to make it really easy, just chuck it straight into your containers. Dice your tomato. Next up the onion. As an optional topping, you can add some coriander. Quarter your lime. If you want to add some avocado, simply just cut it up on the day that you're going to eat your prep. 
For the taco shell, we are gonna use these awesome corn ones that we found. They're soft shells, and the only ingredients are corn, water, and lime, which is epic. To store your tortillas, you can put them in a Ziploc baggie and take them to work or wherever you're gonna eat the meal. Or, if you don't wanna do that, you can just put them on top. Squish them in there somewhere. Put them on it. To play out the plant-based ones, exactly the same as with the beef. But now we're gonna show you how to do it if you were just having it at home tonight for dinner. Of course, you shouldn't have to meal prep these. You can just make this as a nice, healthy dinner to feed the family. So I'll show you how to plate it up. Of course, you can charge your tortillas uh, before you eat them or before you bite them up, or you just have them like this. Wow. Mm-mm. Look at that. That's the stuff. Come, those beef. Easy as that, guys. If you enjoyed this taco recipe, then don't forget to share with a friend. When you make this recipe, don't forget to post a picture on Instagram, hashtagging Pick Up Cooks and tagging us at Pick Up Cooks. Have a great week. Bye, Bye guys. Namaste. If you want to see all the meal preps in one playlist, click here.